Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Dawn Crisis for the PlayStation 1. In the last episode, I did a speed run of the game and I managed to unlock Ending 2, where instead of uh, escaping the, the, the island immediately with Gale and leaving Dr. Kirk behind, I allowed him to uh, go ahead and go after Dr. Kirk, I followed, and we recaptured the Doctor, but Gale died from his injuries as a result. So, yeah, I was forced to escape with Dr. Kirk and Rick. And while well, the government basically got their hands on the third energy data that uh, Kirk had accumulated throughout his entire research career on the, on the subject, and they now pretty much and they pretty much got their hands on um, their beloved precious weapon, the third er the third energy research, which they intend to uh, use as a weapon. Because apparently the real reason we were sent to this island, although only Gale was the only one who knew this, and it was basically a secret mission given to him, was that we were supposed to simply get our hands on the research data of the third energy rather than just recapture Dr. Kirk. Kirk was just a bonus if we could get him alive. What uh, my nation's government wanted was basically just his research data so they could use it to uh, create new weapons. Oh, all right, I'm skipping a step. I wish I could say that it's a shock and that's a shocking revelation, but honestly, there was definitely there were definitely hints throughout the game that uh, that extended even right back to the beginning prologue here, where we were given our mission directives that there was going to be more to this mission than just simply capturing Doctor Kirk. So if you paid close attention, then well, it's really not that surprising if you ask me. Anyway, I'm uh, now on my third run, and I'm working to uh, get to ending three of the game. What ending three is going to entail, well, I'll let you guys see it once I get to the relevant choices. Right now, I'm just trying to activate the third energy generator again. Because, well, I'm kind of railroaded into it at the moment. Can't do anything yeah. else. And then once I get to make a decision, the final decision of the game, well... I'll show you exactly what I'm what I, what you'll need to do from there to get to ending three. So I will see you guys shortly once I get this generator bo booted up again and ready to basically vaporize the entire fucking island. So see you guys soon. All right, decision time. Now, the nice thing about ending three is it doesn't really matter which decision that you decide to go with. As long as you choose one of these things and then do the right set of actions afterwards, you'll be you'll be able to uh, get to ending three no matter what. But I'm going to just go ahead and select Rick's, Rick's idea and just let him take care of Gale for me first. Gale. Oh. Thanks. That GI Joe deserved it. Come on. Yeah, as you can see, I'm having Regina wear the third costume right now. It's, personally, it's my favorite out of all of her unlockable costumes. And it even changes her eye color to blue. Okay, so, uh... What? So remember that little trans... That little uh, pulse receiver Gale gives us? Once we find him underneath that pipe? We need to use this... To determine where Kirk's location is. And then, based on the map, we need to try and follow him. But, before I go follow him, though, I need to do something over in a little room that is close to, that is uh, in the uh, researchers' living quarters. I'm sure, I don't know if any of you guys remember, but uh, there is a little panel in the, the living quarters, in the B2 area for the researchers, that had some, that had some light indicators on the side of it. I'm going to go and get to that little spot. And then, well, you'll see, you'll see in just a second. Oh, hello. Um, I'm gonna need you to die for me. Oh, great. Uh, hmm. Okay, night, night. Uh, let's take care of you. You now. 
Okay, I got one more shot. What are you doing, Regina? I'm out of shotgun shells. Let's just put this. takes care of you. Now, this little panel is what I was talking about. Remember the little, uh, sca little escape hatch little game that I had to play for uh, Rick's strategy in uh, Kirk's lab on the B1 area? I have to do it all over again. So I hope you are, so I hope you got your notepads ready if your memory isn't good. D. A, C, F, D, D. One down. E, A, B, D. B, C, D. B, D, F, B, C, D. More to go. E, A, F, E, F, F, D, D, E, A. Okay, one more. Oh boy. Looks like somebody's uh, mowing grass outside. Hey. Hey. I hope you guys can I hope you guys can't hear that, but if you can, I'm sorry for the noise. Can't really control that. C. 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 D. C. A. 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 B. C. C. D. Shit, I got it wrong. E. F. I blame the lawnmower. B. B. F. E. A. D. Let's try it again. EF. EF. EA. DF. There we go. And would you look at that? It's a hidden passageway. You wouldn't have been able. You could have unlocked this. Uh, you could have unlocked this passageway earlier in the game, but it wouldn't let you go through until after you activate the generator first. So that's pretty much why I'm, I saved it here for now. So we are now going to the heliport transfer passageway. Yes, you read that light. There is an underground heliport here. We're gonna try to go through here. We're gonna try to go through here first. We're gonna... All right, here we are. Now, looking at the 
pulse receiver again. Look at that. Kirk is right in the next room. Underground help. There is a slummy bastard. <laughs> that was a fucking awesome kick. So, uh, yeah, the ending three is basically a third option where we can get both the Doctor and Gale alive before leaving. Now, you could also do the same thing here if you, uh, get, if you get to the underground hellport first and then go follow the Doctor if you chose to go with Rick with uh, Gale's idea and let him go after Dr. Kirk because he'll still survive if you, tr if you uh, go about things that way. So it's an so it's an alternative method to what I just showed you, but I mean, like like I said, as long as you just as long as you uh, get to the underground hellport first before uh, an, another important another important event within the story occurs, then well, you're pretty much dead set to go on ending three, like I am now. So we're gonna take grenade rounds. I'm gonna okay, my grenade gun's still equipped. That's good. Doctor Kirk is still unconscious, as he should be. He is best unconscious. Got an aesthetic aid. Might as well just go ahead and use it. I'm also gonna go ahead and, uh... Actually, you know what? I don't really need it anymore at this point. So I th There could be more that I might have missed, but... I didn't use a single emergency box at all on my third run. Although I did get my, although I did get killed once without resuscitation, so I got one little continue counted against me, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm proud of myself. I never uh, actually uh, played the game before without having to use the emergency boxes for supplies once, so that's uh, something new, a new achievement for me, I suppose. Okay, Rick. I'm coming to get you. Just bring Gale along with you and make sure that uh, he's being quiet. That T-Rex is right behind us. We gotta move fast. You're not moving go. very fast. There's the motherfucking T-Rex again. Fuck! Well, thank God I have that on me. All right, let's try this again, buddy. Oh, fuck me! Come on, buddy. Just stay back. Can't make any mistakes around the T-Rex, especially on this segment. Now I got two continues counted against me, so fuck you, Mr. T. That dinosaur just doesn't give up! 
You're good at staying the obvious, Rick. Sense doesn't make for an escape for an escape helicopter to have a freaking missile a bomb on its on its payload. So yeah, ending three, ladies and gentlemen. After the uh, after the little uh, segment here at the end of the credits, there's really gonna be uh, nothing left for me. No, nothing left for me to cover, save for maybe the uh, extreme mode thing. But again, I don't think I'm going. To, I don't think I'm gonna play that though. Because I don't think you really unlock any... I don't think you unlock anything even if you uh, complete the mode or anything like that. It's just simply a little bonus mode that you can do just to see if you can kill a bunch of dinosaurs within a set period of time. And that's basically it. So I guess I'll see you guys shortly once we uh, get to the proper epilogue. You have mail. The final report of Operation Dr. Kirk. Agent name, Regina. Dr. Kirk. Status, recaptured. We have recaptured Dr. Kirk, who is currently negotiating future experiments with the military high command. Gail. Status, alive. Gail did survive but he is seriously injured and is currently recovering at our military medical facility. Rick, status, alive. Rick is currently analyzing the data that was recovered from Ibis Island. Regina, status, alive. As for myself, I'm ready to begin my next assignment. Tom, status, deceased. Tom was attacked and killed by a giant reptile that was inhabiting the island. He will be missed. Cooper. Status. Unknown. We lost contact with Cooper at the beginning of the mission and have not heard from him since then. Mission complete. All three endings. Completed and seen. Operation Instructions. Congratulations. You have revealed all the endings. Your next assignment is to complete the mission in a shorter time frame. I'm hoping you'll do your best on the next mission. Good luck. There's no reward for beating the game faster than what I did, and oh, oh yeah. You've got you've obtained a super grenade. Use this and save data on your in your next mission. Now, what exactly is a super grenade? Well, basically, I've unlocked infinite ammunition for the grenade launcher now that I've uh, completed all three endings of the game. So, you can basically go to town on all the dinosaurs if you really wanted to now, which is really nice to have for New Game Plus. But considering I had to beat the game three times in order to uh, get this thing. I think I've already proven I don't really need it. So, yeah, again, it's just something that to have here if you want to play the game again more than three times and you just want to have something a little fun to play with, you know? So, uh, yeah, this has uh, been Dino Crisis. 
I've uh, pretty much had this game when I was ever since I was an elementary school kid, because well, I wasn't really allowed to play games like Resident Evil or Silent Hill. So, but for some reason, something like Dino Crisis was uh, perfectly okay. So, I took what I could get. And uh, com comparing uh, Dino Crisis to uh, what I to the old classic RE style games that I played. It definitely has a lot of similarities to them in terms of its gameplay, ex except where it doesn't. Like, for example, how you uh, were to how you get items from item boxes. Like, instead of having uh, one universal item box like you do with uh, classic RE games, you have uh, multiple different ones that are color coded that you have to uh, unlock one at a time in order to access their contents, along with any other previous item bo emergency boxes that you've unlocked before. There's also uh, basically the little danger segments where you gotta rapidly press the buttons at certain prompts here otherwise you uh, either get seriously injured or killed so kind of like a quick time event in a sense. And fully rendered uh, 3D environments compared to just 3D character models and uh, pre-rendered backgrounds which can still look very nice but Compared to uh, all the classic uh, RE style games for on the PlayStation 1, I definitely think that uh, the first Dawn Crisis uh, looks uh, pretty good, looks better than them by comparison because everything is 3D, is modeled in 3D. The characters look like they actually belong in the world instead of, are, instead of just being tacked on top of it. And of course, uh, with uh, the really low amount of supplies and ammunition that you find within uh, Dino Crisis, I'd, I'd say that I'd say that uh, Dino Crisis puts more emphasis on survival in the survival horror aspect side of things, and even its uh, sister series does, at least with uh, its at least with all the games that it released up until around the time Dino Crisis One came out. So you'd be able to like find and uh, create ammunition to uh, deal with like maybe a third of the dinosaurs that you find, and then you'd have to basically find ways to work around the uh, other two thirds of them, because there just really isn't that uh, that uh, you you can't really uh, kill every single one of them. There's just simply not enough ammunition, especially considering that even the the the, so the weakest dinosaurs that you uh, come across. The Velociraptors, not not counting the comp the compies. They're they're bullet sponges. So, yeah, you had to uh, get a bit more creative with uh, how you dealt with the dinosaurs since they're fast and strong, and could just go to town on you if you're not careful. And you have a lot less resources to work with. And then I also like uh, how they handled a lot of puzzles in this game compared to a lot of classic RE style games. Where, uh, for example, like uh, me, uh, instead of me uh, completing a bunch of weird, nonsensical puzzles to uh, get key items for every little thing and maybe uh, finding one password or two here and there or a combination. Dino Crisis relies more on you piecing together uh, pass passwords for certain doors and uh, cr and even creating your own key items in order to access certain parts of the game map instead of just trying to find an item somewhere in the game world that could just unlock the whatever door you need to go through and take you there so it's and you know little changes like that it basically uh, adds a it basically adds a, a few unique, unique twists on the classic RE style formula in all the right areas to where the game feels similar enough to those who have played the classic RE style games, but different enough to where it feels refreshing. So those of you who have played the classic style Resident Evil style games will pretty much uh, be right at home with a game like this. But yeah, Down Crisis is uh, one of my favorite uh, titles on the PlayStation 1. I've uh, played it. A lot. I played it a lot throughout my life here. This is just this is one of those games that I always love coming back to, even if it's uh, years at a time between uh, me playing like a few rounds of it, because the gameplay itself is uh, fun, challenging, and uh, interesting enough to me to where I I'll always want to just uh, come back and just play it all again because there's there's just. 
There's just a whole multitude of different ways you can go about uh, playing the game. You know, on account of it being a survival horror game, but again, with the very heavy emphasis on surviving in this game, compared to classic RE style games, you definitely have to be a more, bit more creative with your strategies. And some of the items are uh, randomized on, on uh, different playthroughs too, so no two playthroughs will ever be 100% the same. And of course, with all the uh, New Game Plus goodies that you can unlock with uh, costumes and different wep and being able to get access to certain weapons early and, yeah. and what have you, there's definitely plenty of replayability yeah. of this game. Not counting the fact that, you know, there's multiple endings. So I suppose one thing I'll do before I go ahead and cut the video off here, it's going to be a short one, I know, but, well... By the time I completed two of the endings, I, other endings, I pretty much uh, shown you guys basically the, the meat of the entire game. There was really not much else I could have covered by that point, besides just showing you what I, I showed you in my first run, and then completing all of Gale's choices. Okay, this is the first ending three. Checkpoint. Didn't really Playtime is have anything else to it other than what you just saw in this episode. Something's wrong. The lights in the guardhouse are out. Anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and show you what uh, the final uh, unlocked costume looks like for Regina, along with how no. it changes some of her weapons, if this sort of thing interests you. Because by God, is that a very impractical outfit, and honestly, it's kind of funny and inappropriate considering the game in the question, dinosaurs and all. And in fact, her dress kind of reminds me of Fred Flintstone's hey, outfit from the Flintstones. Forget about it. Just so, this. on that on that level, it's also slightly funny to me too. All right, it's clear. I'm just gonna let this cutscene uh, play out, and then I'll show you uh, what you get when you uh, select uh, this costume when starting a new game. Okay, let's do this. I'll infiltrate the facility and occupy the control room on the first floor. I should have access to all the security systems from there. I'll contact you as soon as I've cleared the room. So unlike a, unlike your other costumes, your handgun now is a well. It's a, it's a Glock 34, but I mean, look at it. Made by Glock of Aus Austria, uses nine par nine millimeter parabellum bullets. We got our shotgun right here, and a pump action shotgun by. L. Franchi. And we have our grenade gun, which is basically a fucking fish. Grenade bullets and heat bullets are usable by Heckler and, Co and Koch of Germany. I, I don't think I'm pronouncing that name right. And of course, we got our infinite grenades right here. We got, we got uh, a few basic supplies with this costume starting out. But yeah... Look at this. Rick can handle the inside of the facility on his own. I don't know if I can get... Like, look at this. I can wield a fucking fish that shoots infinite grenade rounds against every single dinosaur that I, uh, that I come across. It's as ridiculous as it is awesome, if I do say so myself. So yeah, like I said, this has been Dino Crisis for the PlayStation 1. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, cut things off here. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, final episode and this maybe even this whole run of Dino Crisis if you've been here from start to finish. And if you did and you want to see more content from me, then feel free to subscribe to my channel because there's plenty more uh, survival horror games on my channel along with uh, games of various other genres that you can find. And um, about half of the stuff I cover is a uh, viewer slash subscriber requested stuff so if you ever want to you can suggest a game for a game for me to cover at some point and well i will just tell you up front here whether or not it's something that i would definitely consider playing so i will uh, see you guys for uh, my next series or whatever video whatever one shot game or whatever the hell i decide to cover next so take care